Hey there, Red Brown here. Welcome to a very hot Saturday. As you can see, I'm sitting next to the racer and oil filter is back on. Unfortunately, the oil cooler will not work. The only way that this will work is the piece that holds the oil filter. That would have to be knocked off and um, you have to have that have it nice and flush. And then you'd have to drill and tap it. And to knock that off, you'd have to grind that off and you would definitely get oil shavings in the engine. So unfortunately, this will not work as it is right now. If I ever have to take this engine apart, though, it's doable. But um, I got no plans in taking this engine apart. I have everything out. Luckily, I had drilled it uh, a little bit bigger, and I just finished um, using the uh, paper towels rolled like a joint to clean out all the metal shavings. There's nothing... I'm confident there's no more metal shavings in there and uh, nothing got right in the engine. I greased the drill bit, the end of the drill bit, and I caught, I caught as much as possible. If there's anything in there, it should, shouldn't cause any issues. Um, but anyways, that's why you went through with the paper towel, cleaned everything out. But the, like I said, the only way that this would work is if you um, knocked off that fitting and you basically that was flush and you drilled and tapped it. So let me show you the kit I did get. It's used. It's a used kit, so I'm not going to show too much. My address is on there. Basically, this side of it here has this filter, or sorry, the gasket, and that's supposed to mount flush to the engine, or flush to the uh, oil filter uh, plate. And then you have this piece right here that holds it on. So I figured, okay, I'm going to test fit this and see if, see if I need clearance anything. Good thing I did... Because this piece here is the same size as the filter, it will not go through here. So I'm thinking to myself, okay self, why is that? And then I test fitted it like this, and you got a little nipple sticking through, sticking through. So I figured, okay, drill and tap that piece on there, this would screw on, and it would go on. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, that can't be, can't be how it has to go. Um, because this has to be flush, you'd have a gap. So, a little bit of a mistake by me looking at it and um, thinking, okay, that this goes on and it should make up the difference, but it, it won't. So I still got the oil temperature gauge, which is good, uh, which will work for now. And I'll have to keep an eye on that and keep an eye on everything else, make sure the engine's not overheating. Uh, I believe the sign of no oil pressure is it will start knocking in the top end because the valves aren't getting any oil. But like I said, I'm pretty confident that I got all the metal shavings out. It should be okay. I will be changing the oil in this again pretty soon. I will keep on checking the oil though for metal shavings. I'm going to take it for a run right now. Uh, when I get down the street, I will check the oil and um, just go from there. But uh, unfortunately, this won't work unless I completely... Uh, tear the engine apart and um, go through it from there. But um, I, I knock that piece off and tap it out to make that fit. If I did that as well, if I was to go through all that to do this, I might as well get a Vanguard, uh, which you can adapt it pretty, pretty easily on the Vanguards. I was actually out looking at a car earlier and there's a guy who owns a small engine shop. I asked him, oh, do you got any Vanguards sitting around? He said he might and to contact him uh, closer to the winter. Um, if I do Vanguard in here, I'll have to uh, re rework a few of my engine mounts, which isn't really a too big of a deal. Um, but as it is right now, unfortunately, this engine, I cannot put the oil cooler on. So I'll just hold on to the oil cooler. You never know, I might need it in the future. Um, also, with the Vanguard, the actual cooler part, I think would work with a Vanguard engine. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. But... Um, or I'll post it back up on eBay. We'll see. Um, but like I said, it didn't cost me that much. So we'll see. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So I'll talk to you later. Please keep your redneck like always. And uh, please subscribe and comment. Also, if anyone can guess what this guy is, it will be going on soon. Bye for now.